All right, let's get a look at our own weather picture tonight. Some areas seeing rain, and that's not all that some areas have seen. Something unusual out there tonight, Ray. Yeah, I was getting uh, tweets and emails about a weird thing in the sky, and what it was was an anti-crepuscular ray. And what that is is basically a shadow from a distant storm that cast or, uh, that cast the shadow onto the sky. So as the sun is setting. You notice that those those uh, shadows get longer and longer, and I could show you that with our with our satellite imagery that we have here. My there it goes. Um, these clouds from the storms cast these longer shadows, and I think it was this storm back towards Wheeling that casted a nice long one that gave us that weird view in the sky. Some people say they look like tornadoes, but they're not uh, scary in any way, shape, or form, or dangerous in any way, shape, or form. It's just a shadow cast on the clouds from the setting sun. So a very cool thing to see in the sky. Other things we've been seeing are sprinkles left over. You can see this little batch up here in southern uh, uh, Butler County. Some sprinkles there. A little thunderstorm has been hanging out in your boardman. That's going to cross over the state line and these showers are becoming less numerous and that's a trend that's expected to continue. We've been watching the visibilities out towards Butler waver a lot in the last couple of hours. What we're going to start to see is more and more fog trying to settle in, especially for areas that picked up on heavy precipitation. We have a high relative humidity um, and there's a lot of moisture in the ground from those storms earlier today and that combination is going to lead to areas of fog developing tonight and you can see out towards Cambridge less than two miles of visibility right now as our temperatures slowly fall and we're only going to lose a few more degrees but as we drop those temperatures even a couple more degrees we're going to squeeze more and more moisture out of that air as a, as a result and that's going to lead to those areas of fog so we're getting down to about 62 here in Pittsburgh 60 Washington 62 Clarion and Beaver same deal in Katanning high temperatures tomorrow get close to 80 degrees, so it's going to be a little warmer than what we had today by a couple, but uh, overall I think we're going to see more sunshine tomorrow. You can see here how the fog shows up by early tomorrow morning. That's what all this cloudy stuff shows up on uh, the model as. Now through the day that's going to mix out, so we'll get more sunshine, but during the afternoon we can't rule out maybe a very stray shower, but I think most of us end up dry tomorrow without having to worry about that. Plenty of sunshine around, and that's going to be the way the rest of this week goes. More sunshine than anything else can be expected. So, patchy areas of fog tonight, otherwise partly cloudy skies. Any leftover showers are finishing 62. That's our low tonight. Highs tomorrow near 80 degrees. A nice mixture of sun and clouds, but just that real small chance that a shower could pop up during the afternoon. I do not think many of us are going to be seeing that. And you can see here after that early fog, we're going to get those temperatures building to the mid 70s by lunchtime near 80 degrees by four or five o'clock. So a uh, beautiful day, little touch of humidity left over in the air and those temperatures start to tick upward. We're talking mid 80s Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Uh, when it comes to rain in this next week, a stray shower tomorrow, stray shower Friday. Otherwise, we are looking dry with temperatures in the 80s through the rest of this forecast and most of these days will come in mostly sunny.